Acharya Shri, another question came from a YouTube commenter. Should we use the Vedas? Vedas are very ancient books in India. I think it is the oldest book we ever find in our culture. Vedas are almost 5,000 years old. Among them, Rig Veda is the first one. Nine chapters are very old. I think in the Vedas, they always talk about the nature. And that's what I like. The worshipping nature means it is like thanking the nature. If you worship a tree, it means you are thanking the tree that thank you for giving me oxygen or thank, thanks to giving me for the fruits or flowers. So in Vedas we worship nature everywhere. We worship rivers, ocean, trees, uh, then other comments like uh, Surya Narayan Puja, like if we do Surya Narayan Puja, like the worshipping Surya, yes, because it is much better than worshipping statue of any god. Because Surya at least, the sun, at least gives you the light. And without sunlight, you will be dead. So, the sun is playing role in our life, in our planet's life, the biggest role more than a God. God doesn't even shine. God you cannot even see, it is not visible. I am 100% in favor of worshipping Sun or Surya Narayan. It is better to say Surya Narayan. Surya means Surya God. Narayan means God. Yes, because you are thanking the sun by offering him uh, some kind of water or some kind of flowers, uh, whatever your beliefs are. I am 100% in favor of that, that if you will worship, when you will offer something to God, you will say one kind of mantra, maybe Gayatri mantra. And that was written in the first Veda. Om Bhur Bhava Swa Tat Savitur Vare Nayam Bhargo Devasya Dhimai Dhyo Yonaha Prachodayat. That's what it was written in the first Veda. And it is 100% right. You say thanks to the nature, because nature exists. They provide you oxygen, they provide you food. It is much better to pray, to offer a prayer to the nature. It is much better than offer a prayer to the Jesus or to Rama or to Krishna or to Mahavira or to Buddha because they are not here anymore. But nature is still here. So, we can use Veda in that aspect. We can use Veda in the herbal medicines that is still valid because there were many herbals, they are still, they play a big role in our life, those herb herbs. And herbal medicine has no side effect. So, I am in favor of using Veda still, which is good stuff in it. We cannot use which is bad stuff in it. So, good stuff, it is okay to use it. They are still valid to use it. Even though, remember always, Veda is not spoken by God, because God is not a person. God has no hands or body or uh, uh, senses. God is all beyond of that. God is beyond of senses, God is, God is beyond of body, God is beyond of um, mind, thoughts. God is something else. 
I cannot even explain. And you will not even understand if I will try to explain. So it is better to use what is good for you, for the society, for the human body. And uh, uh, worship the nature, say thanks to everything, whatever you get from the nature. That is much, much better than any other prayer. No matter that prayer comes from Christianity, or Hindu, or Jewish, or Islam, that is much, much better prayer, worshipping nature. That's why Veda is much better than any other book, religious book, like Gita, or Dhammapada, or Quran, or Purana.